Hey, what's growing on everybody? I'm Brian Taylor and today I'm talking to you guys about the castor plant. So the castor plant is a tropical plant that's naturally from the Mediterranean, uh, East Africa, and India, but it's grown anywhere tropicals and subtropicals are grown. Actually, it's grown almost all over the world. It can survive many summers. Uh, people will grow them. They reach seed at a quick young age. They produce the seed, then the winter comes, they die back, and they plant them again the next year. So it's a pretty cool crop. Here in Arizona, we're lucky and they'll live year round, uh, usually living two to three years just off of one plant. So the castor is one of the kind of essential plants that people growing food forests would want to have, especially in the beginning, because they can help you develop a microclimate. So the, the top story or canopy layer of your microclimate is usually the hardest one to get established first. And so what a lot of people are doing is they'll get casters because they grow so quick, they can grow to about 12 feet tall in four to six months from just a seed. And they'll, they'll put them in the ground, they'll create a nice little microclimate for avocados or loquats or one of the more sun sensitive uh, trees. They're even great for sh shading mangoes and peaches. So anything that you'd want to give a little bit of summer relief to, they're, they're excellent. Um, casters come in many different shades and colors. So as you guys can see in this film that's rolling, it, you got some green giant caster beans. They're pretty amazing. What I found is the green ones, they grow the biggest and the fastest. So these things will actually turn into like a full blown tree in a matter of a year. Then we've got some really cool looking, I call them the the midnight casters, they're purple casters. Um, these have a nice dark purple color to them and, and I, I feel like they're my favorite looking caster. Their seed pods are dark purple. Basically everything about them is dark purple. Um, then we've got some dark purple green mix that actually have really dark purple leaves with bright red caster seeds. Those are very cool. But casters, they can cross each other and develop into many different forms. I've seen them with with uh, red leaves and, and purple uh, pods. I've seen them with yellow pods. There's just a lot of different varieties. So if you're interested in getting a caster, there's a lot of cool nurseries around the valley that'll just give you seeds. I'm gonna go ahead and post a link in my description where you can order them off Amazon like I did. That's one way you can support the channel is by ordering from that link if you're interested in doing so. Um, so the, the, the main pros from the casters, they can provide you with that microclimate. They're also pretty cool looking. Um, I like them aesthetically, they're very pleasing to the eye. They are not the type of plant that, uh, that, doesn't get, that, that, that doesn't get attention. These things draw a lot of attention. People ask me about them all the time. So this is the only plant that I grow that doesn't give me fruit. Everything else I grow gives me fruit, but it does give me a microclimate which helps with all my other fruits that we grow. So highly recommend that this is a plant you grow. There are some downsides to casters though. So the one thing that people actually like about them is the seeds. So the seeds you can, you can create medicinal castor oil, which has a lot of purposes. I've never used it for that and I'm not gonna get into it because I'm not an expert on it. But those same seeds um, that people use to make castor oil also contain poison. So castor beans are what they use to develop ricin, which is a, a, a toxin. Um, it, it'll, it's fatal to humans. There's no cure for it. It's very deadly. Um, it, very few seeds, it, if, if consumed, could, could kill a human being. So if you've got small kids that like to eat random things in your backyard, probably a good idea that you're not planting uh, castors here in, in, in your backyard. Um, I do have quite a few animals. We've got tortoises, we've got chickens, we've got dogs. A lot of them have been around the casters. I know the tortoises have eaten the caster seedlings and I've never once seen uh, one of the caster seedlings uh, kill one of those animals. My neighbors though, they do have bunnies and a while back one of them died and they thought it was from a caster and I didn't think so because I thought, you know, it's only the seeds that could kill them. Um, so then they had another rabbit recently die and they went and did a toxicology report and did find out that those, those, uh, that the rabbit died from, from the ricin poisoning from the castor bean. So made me think to myself, well, shoot, that's not good. I'm going to get rid of them because I'm a good neighbor. Um, but I was really puzzled how that castor was able to get into their yard and sprout. 
because I, I plant them on the other side of my wall from my neighbor's house. So there wasn't really a, a clear path for them to, to, to fall off. And then I discovered something. Actually, it happened while we were making this video. If I can rewind it, I'll find that point where I heard like a, a pop sound. That like to eat random things in your backyard. That like to eat random things in your back. That like to eat random things in your back. That like to eat random things in your back. So castor beans actually distribute seeds by a process called explosive seed distribution. So casters will actually explode, as you can see in this slow motion video, as I put pressure down on this seed, the seed pod will collapse on itself, causing it to squeeze the seed and then shoot it. You know, there's a lot of examples of, uh, of seed explosions uh, being a form of seed distribution in nature. Um, those are very, very, very common forms. It's just the castor beans, one of those. And I found that these seeds can shoot up to 20 feet away. So also don't plant them in an area that you don't want them to grow because they will grow and they will grow fast, whether you want them there or not. And then they can develop seeds of their own and shoot them out. So if you don't want a castor plant, don't plant it there. The other cool thing about casters is when you're done with them, you can rip them up. They've got a very, in invasive root system so you can just rip them up and plant them you know or rip them up so that you can plant whatever you want in that spot and then they have kind of a hole already dug for you so you can you can use them for that benefit as well I could probably do several videos on casters they're really cool I'm kind of bummed to get rid of them but it's the right thing to do happen with my neighbors animals I don't want any anybody dying or getting hurt so I'm gonna get rid of them but if you guys like this video please subscribe. We really appreciate all the support that we've been getting for our channel. Um, and we'll uh, continue to bring you great content. Just uh, share this video with your friends and we'll get back with you. Thanks. Bye.